Hi everyone. Are you tired of using A085 microprocessor kit? Here comes A085 simulator software which makes your life very easier. So A085 is an 8-bit microprocessor. So all the registers A, B, C, etc. will they have the habit to handle the 8-bit data. Let's have a look into this simulation software tools uh, and their capabilities and their features and their workings. First we will see the top topmost uh, general purpose registers which consist of A register, B register, C register, D register, E, H, L, memory pointer which uh, all these are 8 bit registers. Apart from these registers there are other two registers namely stack pointer and program counter which are 16 bit registers which stores the address of the data. In the left side of the simulation tool, we are having the user data grid which will store the input and output data with their corresponding address. So next to the user data grid is the hexacode grid which will store the hexacodes of the corresponding program with their address. In the left most of the screen, we are having the instructions of A085 which is classified into four different groups data transfer group, automatic group, logical group, branch and machine control group. So each group have different types of commands which will do their corresponding operation according to their assignment. So if you want to familiarize with each and every command just keep an arrow on that one uh, that information will be displayed on the left to bottom, the right bottom, sorry, right bottom. Example, move immediate, uh, you can see move immediate with 8 bit data. Similarly, SKHLD is nothing but store HL register directly. Similarly, here um, ADI it is nothing but add immediate to accumulator. Similarly, here jump unconditionally. Uh, similarly, NOP no operation. Like that, it goes. If you want to know about each and every command, just keep an arrow on that command it will gives the information about that commands so apart from this we are having t states yeah, machine cycles time of execution of an instruction we can also check the status of the flag registers there are five flag flags in the a085 namely sign flag zero flag axillary carry parity and carry flag and now we are going to see the, how to execute a program in the simulation software kit. As like the traditional system, there is no need for uh, find out the corresponding hexacode for the written program. Here we can directly feed the program and uh, find the bugs and directly execute the program in this simulation software. So before, uh, before going into the entire program, we will see how the single instruction is executed in this simulator kit. Then let us start with the LDA. This LDA just press LDA and uh, fix the location. Let us assume as 4200 as the location. See in the main program window the LDA 4200 will come. Uh, if you want to know what is uh, what LDA do just make a mouse on that one. LDA is nothing but load accumulator directly. It will load the uh, data stored in the 4200 address into the accumulator. So we need to store some data in the 4200 location. Let us assume it is as some 7. Okay, So 7 is stored in the 4200. After the execution of this instruction, the 7 will be copied to the accumulator. Here accumulator. Okay. So let us make a run. So here is the run. So just press this button, run. So after the execution of this injection, you can find out A with 7. And also you can find out the hexa codes of this program. LDA is nothing but 3 byte injection. For LDA, for DA command, it is 3A. For the address, it is given in the lower byte is 00, higher byte is 42. 
So it is a 3 byte instruction, so it consists of 3 hexa codes. Similarly, you can find out it consists of 18 T states, it have 4 machine cycles, and time of execution of this instruction is 13 microseconds. I hope you have an idea how of how the program is executed, how the command is executed in the simulation software. As such, like hardware, we have everything here and the added value of seeing this accumulator value and the register values also. Okay. So now we, we are going to see a full program how to add a two numbers which is stored in the memory address. The values of the data will be stored in the memory address. Let us assume the values are stored in the location 4200 and 4201. So we can give any value. I am giving as 2 and 4. So let us give them as 4. So we need to add this 2 and 4 by using a simple program. So let us start with the LDA. So it is nothing but load accumulator directly from the memory location 4200. So this data is now in the accumulator after execution of this command the value will be the two will be transferred to the EA again you have to move this or copy this value to another register let us assume we will take the register B so there is a command called move A so sorry it's B comma A it's B comma A so here the source will be A and the designation will be B. So the, the value will be copied from A to B. Now we can again we can load this 4201 um, data into the accumulator. Again you can go for LDA which will take the value from the LDA 4201. That is 4 will be again copied to the accumulator. So there are two values. One value will be in the register B, another value will be in the register A. Now you have to add these two values. The command will be add, simple add, which will add the register to the accumulator connect. So which register we have to decide? Now we have to transfer the information from A, first information to the B. So we have to add B with the accumulator. Now it will add B with the accumulator and store the result in the accumulator. Now we have to transform that result to the memory location, some memory location. Let us assume 4500. Okay, We have to store the result in the 4500 location. So we have to transfer the accumulator value into the 4500 location. There is a command called STA, that is store accumulator content to the memory location 4500. Okay, That's it, it's finished. We have to halt the operation, we have to use the HLT. So, this uh, information, all this process inputs are given, the result has to be stored in the 4500. So, now you have to run the program. So, after running the program, uh, you can see the hexa code of the corresponding program. This is the values you are feeding in your hardware device and getting the result. Here, you are directly feeding the handwritten program and getting the results. So, 2 plus 4, the result is 6. You can check it. A accumulator will be 6, uh, then it's 2. There is a change in the flag registers. Parity flag is changed. Carry flag, axillary carry flag, zero flag, sign flag are unchanged. Similarly, you can stay, see the whole program consists of 52 T states, 16 machine cycles, and the time of execution of the whole program takes only 52 microseconds. Similarly, the program counter stores the next address, or next injection should be executed address. Okay. So this is all about a microprocessor H085 simulator software kit. If you want to uh, download the software, just check out the link below this video and download it from the mechatronics 2 in website. Thank you then don't forget to subscribe our channel be people subscribe like share with your friends have a nice day